Today we're going to set up Application Server on OSX Mavericks. First, download and install the OSX Server app from the Mac App Store. The first time you're on it, you'll need to put in your admin username and password. Once OSX Server installs, you'll be greeted by a very informative Getting Started with the OSX Server page. Take your time to read it if you're not familiar with OSX Server. The application section is what we're about to go over in this video. It's very informative and have links to more advanced setups. Once you close the help section, you'll see the server app interface. The first option in the services menu is caching. Select caching to bring up the cache settings window. The first thing we'll configure is where the service will store cached content. I selected the second drive on my server, but you can select an external hard drive if you wish. Now click continue and you'll have to wait a few seconds while the hard drive is prepared. Now the service has a place to store Mac and iOS updates and applications, we can look at turning the service on. At the moment the status is offline. Once you turn the status from off to on with the slider in the top right hand corner, you'll see it change from offline to starting and finally to available. Now devices connected to your network will look to use the Mac for updates rather than the App Store, hopefully using, saving you some internet bandwidth. Coming back to the server after a few hours, you will see the caching page has changed. The usage bar at the bottom now has 550 meg of Mac apps and 35 meg of iOS apps cached in the short amount of time I've had this running. Yay! Saving bandwidth! Finally, I want to show you how to edit them out of disk space used for updates. When I initially set it up, I didn't choose a setting, so it used the whole disk. Now I'm going to edit it by dragging the slider to about halfway. That's it. For a basic setup, that's all you need. Have fun.